It's week 30 something. <laughs> Almost 40. <laughs> uh, what is it? This is week 38. Something like that. Christina assembled fans today. Because the ceiling is painted, so we can now install all of our lighting. Did it come with a longer shaft too or not? Huh? Not, no, it only came with one. I said shaft. So we have three different, or two, two different kinds of ceiling fans. They give you plenty of wire. Yeah, I thought the same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this short. That's so you can put a longer um, rod on it if you want. Well, there was two different options of how to mount this one. It was like close to the ceiling mounting or standard mounting. Yeah, well, we went close. Huh? I said, well, we went close. Well, no, I did and standard. Then, I didn't do the yeah. close to the ceiling. Oh. I did the standard. Or well, what I mean, we don't want an extended rod, and the reason being, even though we have taller ceilings, with recessed lights, if you have a ceiling fan spinning, it's going to make like a strobe light effect in the room. And this one. If, if, if your ceiling hangs too low and your recessed lights are too close to the the ceiling fan. Okay. I'm gonna get my pliers, trim that wire up, and wire that up. But there's. Almost one done. Just show him the other one and the other yeah. one. And while he's doing that, I'll show you the paint. We got paint, we have color. So they're still working on everything, but you can see all of the walls are going to be a gray with the almost bluish look to it. So white trim, white ceilings. Straight dog. <laughs> but it's crazy the difference that some light does to these walls. But I feel like we definitely chose the right color to fit our basic, our basic what, what word am I thinking? Basic our, tea. Our basic taste. <laughs> but yeah, so we have, carpet is scheduled. So as soon as these painters are done, carpet's coming in and about what, a, next Friday? Yeah? The, I said, I think it was a Monday I said, he said Tuesday, oh. I believe, so. So the 29th, wasn't it? Something like Something that. Something like yeah. that. So in a few days, um, all the carpet will be installed. This Friday, our hardwood flooring will be delivered. We've set that up today. Um, we're getting super close to move-in status. What are you doing? Huh? Why are you just sitting over there? How about you go just turn the breaker off? Um, the switch says it's off. Well, and I didn't even get that on video. Can you do it again? No, the switch is upside down, that's why. <laughs> you didn't have it on recording? I was recording the dogs. <laughs> oh. That, that switch needs flipped upside down. Here, you want to switch? <laughs> I'm not touching anything electrical until the damn breakers turn off. <sighs> that was a good one. So why are you going back up there? Because I flipped the switch. The switch is upside down. No.
We thought that one through my shoulders. And... Well, the electricity works. So how can you tell it's upside down? Oh, never mind. Because, the, because, because I can see. Down. I mean, I could tell it was upside down when I cut into the black wire and it electrocuted me. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so it looks like they got two coats in here. They might be done with our one. Okay. So this is what the entire day has been. Installing recess lights, assembling ceiling fans, well, not the entire day. Uh, well, check, yeah. out, check out what we did around lunchtime. Yep. Also, our daily super expensive Home Depot run, which we are so ready for those to be over. It took way longer than we anticipated because we asked a question. <laughs> it took an hour and a half to answer. And we still didn't have an answer, but we got part of the way to an answer. unphotogenic dog in the world. It's like he knows I'm recording so he just refuses to look up. Hey! Jackson! Look! Jackson! You didn't go to that or you think she had a laser? Something. He's looking at the ground waiting for the laser. <laughs> Alright, you want me to turn the power back on now? Not while my head's in here. I think it looks good. And the final touches. Wow. Now, go turn the power on. Why, why isn't the light coming on? Because the remote. I gotta get the remote control for it. Oh. Well, at least it works. I'd like to see the light. <laughs> so this is the new version of fan. There's no string on it. Strictly remote controlled. I think you can actually work this one from your phone. I saw a, there's a paper downstairs. Not that it, I would need Because that's what I need to do. <laughs> Mm, yeah. Did I turn the fan off before I left? <laughs> Sometimes when I go on vacation, it's like, you know, we should turn the fan off a little bit in our bedroom. <laughs> Alright. Alright, batteries so, are in. Let's so go. I'm flipping the switch on. Okay. I see that. It's like going back and forth. I think it's like calibrating or something. Huh. Yeah, it's a smart, smart little thing. Okay, now yeah. turn the light on. Oh, there's like. Well, there's still no light though. Oh, there's the light. And you can change the... Okay, yeah. so the plus and minus is the speed. I don't know what this is. Like, heat? I doubt it's the heat. Probably the way it... 
Good thing there's an instruction manual. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. That maybe the way that it goes, if it's. I, th I think this is the speed, probably. Yes. And then but what's this, the bottom of it? This changes direction. Yeah, so it blows the heat downwards. Yeah, or the... so it can invert the, the fan to. And then I think this one is up. probably the color of the lighting. So. Probably the dimness of the light. The power button, I guess, is the fan on and off. Well, yeah. And then the light button is the light on and off. And then the up and down is the dimness and yeah. the brightness. Yeah, I believe so. It's got a little indicator there. Ooh, very cool. All right. Calling it a day. <laughs> Each bedroom has its own ceiling fan, and we will be back tomorrow. to do more, more lighting electrical. and electrical and the chandelier. We're getting the hang, we're gonna hang the chandelier today. So we are doing a little bit of measuring now to see where we want the lowest ball to hang down from that. So that's the great debate. And then also, we have this scaffolding here. Not the safest it's from the drywallers, but we are going to figure out a way to support it better and use that to reach the top of the ceiling. Above the door is where it will end at. The sun's working on the face. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm hoping to figure that out soon. Did you read the directions? Yeah, they're uh, they're all written in like Chinese converted to English. Allow oh. every cables through canopy. <laughs> Good old China. So, looks like you're putting the part where it'll hang from the ceiling on, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm getting these bolts uh, positioned in the bracket so I can tighten them up so I can hang this on the ceiling. Alright. And then while he did that, I got all of the cables here laid out. So, looks like they range anywhere from like five foot long to, <coughs> to really long. So we will trim them to our liking once we figure out the exact measurements of everything and get it all underway. All right, the scaffolding is bigger now and braced so it is safe. You feel safe up there, John? Yeah. <laughs> John's working on getting all the wiring done. And Sean is doing his handy dandy math stuff. So, here's kind of what it's going to be. We have balls. So this one. We have to figure out the lengths of every single one that we're going to be hanging. So Sean is doing the measurements so we know exactly how long to make them.
And that looks like a jellyfish light. What happened? You look like Christmas time. <laughs> There's one that's not working. So what do you have to do? I don't know yet. Diagnose the problem for one. So this whole light with all of these crystal balls on it, how much do you say they weigh? Each. With the balls? Yeah. I think they're like, I don't know, two and a half pounds each. Yeah some heavy balls, and there's 36 of them. I wasn't working, this is on hold, All right, so you had to figure out what the problem was with your meter? It's lit up. Um. I wasn't the driver on the first time. Oh, is it on? Yep. Oh, okay. All right, it's Thanksgiving Eve. So we are going to be heading out. Progress on my patch I've been here. So I've got the circle completed. I still need to trim everything on the outside. So far I have about 4,000 bulbs planted and I need about four to 5,000 more. Um, so I'm definitely not gonna get the entire circle done um, this year, but see what happens in the spring and how much makes it um but yeah i'm super happy with it what are you doing oh. who jackson it's gonna burn out because he just went to the bathroom but all right let's go see what we're doing with the house or what we did with the house for a while all right are you still videoing yeah oh I've been busy planting trees too. <laughs> so my crepe myrtles, my black tulip magnolia, I've got a weeping cherry over there, I've got a Japanese maple over here, and I've got some citrus hidden back here too. I'm on my way to uncover them because we're past our frozen evening for now. So we're preparing for flooring to get here. Uh, we had our daily Home Depot trip today. Um, picked up the underlayment for the floor. Um, what, 75 sheets of that. It goes under the luxury vinyl. We're getting ready to unload all that. And then go show them the chandelier completed that you fixed. <laughs> Careful. All right. So these are called cocktail trees, and they will produce key limes and Meyer lemons in a few years. So this one you can see has a few small limes on it already, but these ones won't get super far. But yeah, and then over here we'll have some key limes, but I did just transfer them, so they'll probably go through a little bit of shock, but they will adapt. All right, let's go. Before you stand, um, this way. next time. Get your ankle? Roll my ankle. Huh? Roll my ankle. You all right? So while they're unloading all of their 
underlayment. Let's look at the paint. The paint is looking amazing. We are super happy. The galactic gray? I can't remember. It was galactic something, but. Let there be light. <laughs> So, oh, this one doesn't have a, uh, a dimmer switch. So, it does, technically, the over there. Yeah, but technically, we don't have electricity in the house yet. This is Sean's rigged version pulling from the shop. So, <laughs> um, it's actually nice that we can do it because we can make sure everything is wired correctly and good. Um, but yeah, so everything is hot, good to go. The thing that keeps throwing me off too is, I guess they're all wired differently, so. There, there are three ways. It's like turning it off and on. There are three ways switching, so. Yeah, yep, so that one over there, but we'll get used to it. Oh, see, like now I just turned those off over there. I'm definitely gonna have to get used to <laughs> that one. So what, if I come over here now, I'm gonna turn these lights off. That's outside. outside. That's outside. Two. One for the deck and one for the floodlights. Oh, okay. So yeah, kitchen lights, and then we have um, what are the lights called that will be hanging? Pendant lights. Yes, yeah, we have pendant lights. We have a big one that'll go over our um, new awesome kitchen table. Can't wait to show you that. What? Your pant room. Huh? Your pant room lights are work too. Yeah. <laughs> Over here? I have to find all the switches. So, plant room. Like I was saying, how the paint looks different colors everywhere you go. It's the same color, but very cool. So that works. <clears throat> and then hallway. Oh. Half the hallway. <laughs> that's the oh, foyer. Oh, okay. And more kitchen. Well, <laughs> oh, that's the. Oh, okay. That's already on. All right. There's that. My office. This one's easy. I know where that is. So we got our dimmer. Paint on the plate switch. What's this? Oh, another hallway. And then the dangerous bathroom right now because it's still bare wires. But it works. <laughs> Alright, let's go upstairs. Oh, and the garage. I didn't do the switches in the garage. Oh, they're not done yet. <laughs> See the mirrors and stuff. Chandelier. I fixed the one that was not working. I had to cut off the wire up in the ceiling and put a hole up in the attic in the drywall above the chandelier base. I found the wire and I cut it off and spliced it into one of the other connectors and that fixed it. And then if you're not noticing the pattern yet, all of our lights are very similar. Um, we just, well, I, I, I love the, the bubble in the glass look. So most of our fixtures are those. So 
Um, what else? There's a turret. <laughs> we did have some issues with that. We learned that when we wrapped that for the painters, the with plastic. Yeah, and with the plastic, I guess toilets need to breathe a lot when you flush them. Yeah, it created cre <laughs> a vacuum. It didn't flush right. Yeah, <laughs> we thought something was wrong with it. We're good. <clears throat> Showing the this bedroom, uh, the fan. Yeah. The uh, remotes are on the window still. I'm not sure. Oh, it has like a little hanging. You can hang yeah. your remote controller up. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's the light. It's like a, an airplane kind of fly away, and then what's that? The color? Well, it stays the same color. Oh, that is changing. Cool. I like the light, the bright one. And then you can adjust the speed. Awesome. I'll turn it on so it comes on with the switch. So the other bathroom, we had to return one of these and get a second one. So these are the same as the other ones in our bathroom, but these ones are chrome. The same, same thing with the light and the same thing with the dupost. A view. The chandelier and the window. So the doors are also painted. So white and the hardware is an oil rub bronze. And we're still waiting on the damaged ones to come back in. I believe they said December 9th or 6th. They will all be back over here. I just love the style of these doors too. Super pretty. I'm just in love with everything about our house. <laughs> all right. So we ran short on lights. So I had to order another box. I love these kind, um, both, both for no installation or remodel. Mm -hmm. I can get it out of the box because the light itself is less than a half inch thick, so you can put it in straight into the drywall, and it doesn't matter if you're underneath a, a joist or a stud or whatever. The only thing that sucks about this is that I can't see your face and... <laughs> that better? There you go. <laughs> so it, does, it doesn't matter if you're under a joist, you know, you can, it can still flip up and not be in the, in the way of the you know, light can or anything. <laughs> And you can uh, select the color. I've been putting them in the middle, which is 3500K. So I want to knock out the tab on the top. Put it in a connector. You're getting fast at this. Yes. Mommy did it on the front porch yeah, and it was like... Yeah, we're going to dumb 70 of them. <laughs> and it's a little easier if you just stick your paws in there and spread them a little bit a while. So, because they're kind of tight to shove the wires in. Now since the ends of the wires are tin, these push connectors work great and save a lot of time. So I'll go ahead and stick 
those on each of the wires in the box. That one's ready to go up. So reach up in a hole, find my wire loop that I made. Uh, turn the light off. Yeah, I could so, do that. So it's not hot. Yeah, because you, like you shocked yourself the other day. Because I just bought, I just got a couple new pair of pliers now because I already arced. Uh, <laughs> the other two burnt a nice. You did little, two pairs? I thought it was just the one pair. <laughs> I burnt a little nice little notch right in the cutting part, so they didn't cut nice anymore. Oh jeez! How many times have you electrocuted yourself so far? Well, on this project or in life? On on this house. <laughs> uh, probably like ten. <laughs> always wire stuff hot. Because he's smart. Because I have light and power where I need it. You know, I have to run back and forth to the panel box just to test everything. It's also a little easier to shove it into the connector if you strip it first. There's not a whole lot of room in the box to strip the outer insulation off. You just hit yourself in the face? No. I almost put myself right in the eye. I sliced your fingers off. Strip about a half inch off of the end of each wire. I'll shove it down in that connector or put it in the top of the box. Just so you can get past that insulation when I strip it back. And then separate the wires. When it's neutral, black is hot, and then the copper is ground. And just push them into the connectors that I put on the other wires already. White to white, black to black, and copper to green. Just like such. Wow. Is that yeah. all it is? Yep, now I shove it into the box. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and stick it up in the ceiling. That's it? Yep. 
now I'm going to look up the lid. So I take my cup blade. Plug it in. Throw it on the collar. And it has these clips that just go right on the drywall. Let me see. I actually made these orange pieces a little nicer on this batch. Every batch is a little different, I noticed. Yeah. When we have four boxes of these. Yeah. Uh, like six now, I think. And then turn it on? Yep. No? <laughs> um, I bet it probably goes there first. I hit it off. Well, had it turned on, it would have taken you 7 minutes and 15 seconds to do the light. Always have these little hiccups though. Okay. Um, due to like the space constraints, I got an actual uh, telescoping ladder to keep in this room. But we designed our attic access a little bit different. So instead of like a pull down ladder, we have it recessed up in and a sliding door that made a, a track with like a channel on both sides. That way we can have this insulated on top and the insulation not in the way when you go to hinge it open. Oh, you see there's lights up there too. <laughs> what was the issue? I went up and took, and took a look and I was right, even though I think there's too much stuff for it to detect on my tester, but the wire goes from here, 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 there, there, and there. So without this one here being connected, that light's not gonna come on. So I'll, I will finish this up on Friday because it's gonna take me a little bit to put that. After in. Thanksgiving, after we eat. <laughs> I don't know if that was even on my face. But I could've <laughs> just did this. After Thanksgiving, <laughs> we hungry. <laughs> So let's go put those uh, Edison bulbs that you picked out in that downstairs vanity light. There we go. Okay. So three Edison bulbs. Shouldn't look at it probably. Well, they work. <laughs> Do these get hot? No, the LED. Okay. Holy crap, they're bright. But I like bright lights. We went with a little bit different style of vanity light in this bathroom because, well, for one, it was a lot less expensive, but considerably less, and, and it came with the whole bathroom hardware kit with uh, like the towel bar and the toilet paper holder. And it's, this is just this is the guest bathroom, or we call it the dog's bathroom. This is where we'll be the dogs are. People are here; they can pee in this. Room. which I'll try to use it the most because my office is right there. <laughs> Come on. There we go. All right. We opened all of these before we bought them to make sure nothing was broken because our luck lately, everything has been broken. Because the first one was when yeah. we opened the next door. <laughs> all right. There she blows. It's so bright. And we have another mirror similar to the one that we have upstairs that's round, so that'll yeah, go under you get, here. If you get close, it'll uh, the eyes so adjust so yeah. you can see them. All right. Are we ready to go? Yeah. Let's see spots. That's all I see. All right, well. I am off to finish my Thanksgiving preparation. I've got lots to do, and I've been working on it for three days now. So, happy Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving! And then Black Friday. Make sure you buy yourself lots of gifts. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> I already got my uh, Black Friday 
<laughs> gifts ordered <laughs> to myself. The yeah. ones that uh, are needed to complete my office. Yeah, we're those people. We buy we buy one thing for somebody else and two things for us. <laughs> but, all right. Well, we will see you next. Well, two weeks probably. Inspector comes Monday. The fingers crossed. He uh, passes our electric, and then we'll be starting to work on moving in because we just are super ready and excited. So. All right, well, let's go round up our cattle over here. <laughs> See ya!